Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the Earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a Big Bang. Do you believe in evolution? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, no, man. Because, I know, man. I know, man. Shepherd, man, I know, man. I know, man. Um, yes, I know, I was evolution. I believe that we are from the from primal beings into what we are now today, as complex humans. What comes to your mind when you first hear the word evolution? Yung mga kaisa kasi yun na pag-aaral namin is Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, mga nagsimula daw tayo sa mga ganun kayo. Charles Darwin and the concept of Darwinism. Aside from Darwin, um, yung variety of life. Charles Darwin. Um, Nag-a-adapt, nag-evolve, nag-change, constantly changing yeah. siya. Dynamic yung pagdating. What is evolution in your own words? Ah, kasi sa RP kasi yung evolution, meron kami certain definition. Kasi minsan nag-start kami with, ano, like, a simple box, tapos nag evolve yung form niya into, uh, like, magandang structure. Ganun. Evolution is, as, as said, is transcendence and <laughs> the, the overall changes in time. Um, Evolution for me is how we explain the diversity of life. Um, adapting. Yeah. Parating kaya magano, mag change, mag swap sa kanaman condition na iyan. Uh, it's a form of transcending your current uh, state, no, or rather current life, or your physical. Evolution. Let's talk about it. What is evolution? Evolution is a controversial topic to most people but not in most of the scientists in the scientific community. If one has an idea of what evolution is, they believe in something that is right. Things like, evolution is organisms adapting to their environment. Although this is, this is discredited nowadays. 60 years before Darwin published his book, Mr. John Baptiste Lamarck had a theory that organisms evolve by developing certain traits by their lifetime, and these are passed to their children. For instance, he believed that giraffes that feed on branches of tall trees, that its offspring will have longer necks. Unfortunately, this theory of genetic inheritance does not work that way. Individual organisms don't evolve at all. Instead, there are some random genetic mutations that cause giraffes to have longer necks, giving them a higher opportunity to survive. This is now called survival of the fittest. It does not mean that it only favors the biggest or strongest, fastest animals. For one thing, evolutionary fitness is just how well suited the environment is to the species. For example, if a giraffe with a long neck lives in an environment with long trees that died out, all those long necked giraffes would be at a disadvantage. Secondly, survival is not how evolution occurs. Reproduction is. The world is full of creatures, like the male anglerfish, small and ill suited for survival at birth, that it has to mate before it dies. But we cannot say that if an organism dies without reproducing, it is evolutionarily useless. We have to remember that natural selection happens in the, in the genetic level and not at the organism level. The same gene that exists in that organism exists in its relatives as well. The gene that makes an animal altruistically sacrifice itself to help the survival and future reproduction of the species. It can be more widespread than one that is solely concerned with self-preservation. Anything that lets more copies of the gene pass on to the next generation would serve its purpose. Except evolutionary purpose. It's difficult to keep in mind about evolution when we say 
genes want to make more copies of themselves, or even natural selection. These are things called metaphors. A gene does not want anything, and there is no such mechanism that chooses which genes are best to preserve. What happens is, random genetic mutations is that it causes the difference in behavior and how they are developed in different ways. These ways will result to more copies of the mutated gene and will therefore be passed on, nor is there a predetermined plan progressing towards an ideal form. For example, ideally, our eyes should not have a blind spot where the optic nerve exits the retina. But that's how it is developed, that started from a simple photoreceptor cell. In retrospect, it is more beneficial to humans to crave for nutrients and vitamins, but over the millennia, calories were scarce, and there was nothing to anticipate that this would quickly change. Now, evolution proceeds step by step by step creating to see all of the diversity we see in the natural world. What is natural selection? Charles Darwin developed this concept. He published the book The Origin of Species that explains natural selection as an evolutionary event. He developed this theory during his voyages using the HMS Beagle. In his voyage, he was able to notice that the creatures he found in other islands were similar with slight differences. He was also able to understand that these differences are due to the modifications with accordance to the creature's environment. Also, he was able to formulate four explanations that will explain such a case. Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection is a testable and observable fact with his experiments going throughout time. Now we will discuss each explanation. The first explanation, individuals with the population differ. In this example, different characteristics in giraffes are observed. It could either have a long neck or a short neck. Second explanation, differences are at least in part passed from parents to offspring. This theory explains that characteristics of parents are being passed onto their offspring with modifications. Third, some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. As can be seen, giraffes with long necks are more successful in acquiring food than those with short necks. Also, it should be noted that the length of necks are not acquired by stretching of the necks. Instead, was the case since birth. Lastly, the successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. Since the trait of having long necks is adv advantageous for the species of giraffes, this trait will be passed on to its offspring, thus can be used in particular environments and may cause an emergence of new species. For recap, 1. Individuals with this population differ. 2. The differences are at least, in part, passed from parents to offspring. 3. Some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. And lastly, 4. The successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. And that is adaptation in a whole. There are also some processes that can function to alter patterns of genetic variations within populations. Mutation is the ultimate source of the genetic variation that natural selection acts upon. In mutation, there is a change of genetic material specifically in the, in the nucleic acids. These nucleic acids are the RNA and the DNA. But where does the change happen? We all know that adenine pairs up with thymine and that cytosine with guanine. But mutations happen if the wrong basis matches up. 
there are external factors, such as chemicals and radiations, or internal factors, like something going wrong during the DNA replication that causes these mutations. There are many organisms that move from one place to another, and when they do, they migrate. Migration means moving from a place to another in distance. Animals can move in any place in the world and this can also happen at a certain time 